Hello there, my name is Anton Council and this is Roof Framing 101 2.0. Now again, we are going to unlock even more of the secrets of complex now roof we're going cutting. to teach you how to build a full hip roof that has more than one roof pitch involved, which is going to cause all of the hips and valleys to no longer run at a 45 degree angle. We're also going to show you how we are going to offset each of the hips and valleys from the corners of the wall and to change the heel heights from one pitch to another by adding extra plates so all to make it possible so we can have the same parallel overhang around the entire building. We're also going to show you how to figure out our rafter spans and rafter lengths when we have multiple plate heights. And most importantly, we are going to show you some basic trigonometry and not rely on the functions of the construction master to figure out this roof. So you won't be as limited and nothing can hold us back to calc it before we cut it. just like we did in volume 1.0, we're gonna start out in the office and we're gonna show you how to calculate every rafter, every hip, every valley. You can see the raised plates and, and we're gonna show you how we come up with the heights on those and what the offset of the hip is going to be. We're also gonna show you for valley rafters where we have different plate heights. And uh, we're gonna break all of this down in the office before we ever step foot back in the field and start cutting. And as you can see, there's also multiple plate heights front there that uh, are a two foot height difference. We're going to show you how to calculate those. We're also going to um, show you how to change all of your cheek cuts for your hips and your valleys. You can see the diagram here is a broken hip and a valley coming together. We're going to show you how to calculate those and using the diagrams that we've, uh, we've made for the video. And uh, this way we can calc all of this and cut it before we ever uh, start assembling the roof as well. So when we get done in the office, you're going to see that our plan board will look like this with all the different rafter lengths and hips and everything marked out and ready to go. Now when we get back on site, we're going to see that we've got our plan board with all our measurements and calculations and uh, then we're going to start cutting and we're actually going to assemble the roof on site and show you how to cut all of these rafters, hips, show you exactly how to cut them on the saw, how to use them, and we're going to show you how to stack and put the rafters together. There will be a few more uh, bevels and hip backing bevels that we'll show you how to calculate in the field as well, um, even though we've already gone over it in the office. And uh, then you'll see that we're going to assemble it here. And you, you'll notice that uh, when you watch this video, how everything fits together like a glove. Even though there's multiple plate heights and the hip has to offset off the corner, when you know math and you know trigonometry and you use and retain the principles that we teach in this video, you'll be able to cut any roof on the ground and calculate it beforehand and it will fit together like it was meant to be. So this video, the techniques that you teach are absolutely fundamental in roof cutting. So don't hesitate or wait to get your copy of Roof Framing 101 Volume 2.0 today because the techniques that we teach in this video for bastard or regular hip roofs, there's no video like it out there that teaches the techniques and shows you how to break the math down to figure out these types of roofs. Okay, so to purchase the Roof Framing 101 Volume 2.0, you're going to want to type in roofframing101.com in your web browser, and that's going to bring you to the home page here. And then you can see across the top we have tabs here, and we've got DVDs, and if you scroll down to 2.0, that'll take you to uh, the sales page here. And you can see you, uh, there's a video to watch, um, introductory video. But you can see here that we've got the DVD and it says to buy now and that's to purchase the DVD. 
Uh, we also have a download for s sale as well, which you don't have to pay for shipping. And uh, you can watch it online instead of purchasing the DVD. And that's, um, you would want to click the download for that. But let's go ahead and click buy now. And this takes you to uh, the page where you purchase it. And you can see that it takes PayPal and every major credit card. And uh, you can purchase it right from here. So we uh, thank you for your business. And we hope you take the advantage to purchase uh, volume 2.0. You will not be disappointed. And especially if you've already watched volume 1.0 and like that one. So, okay. Thank you for your time.